What's going on guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing another minifigure comparison video. Now you might have seen my video earlier where I compared Dobby and my Dobby and Voldemort minifigures. So today I will be comparing all of my Harry Potter minifigures, my Ron minifigures, and my Hermione minifigures. Uh, I just want to clarify, this will be my last video that I post before I go on holiday, so um, after this uh, I won't be seeing you guys for another two weeks, so... I hope you guys have a good two weeks without me, but um, <laughs> but we're gonna get started off with these minifigures with this old Harry, which um comes in the or did come in the old Aragog set, and he and the newest Harry from 2018 that also comes in the Aragog set have a similar outfit, but of course it's changed over time. Uh, he has the uh, tall legs, the light gray, and you can see all the chips and dents on those legs there. Um, so yeah, this is the yellow skin minifigure, his mouth is a little bit scratched out there, he has the old hair piece. Um, I have plenty of versions of the old Harry Potter, so I have some in his robe, I have some in a different casual outfit. So I have a ton of the old Harry Potter minifigures, and this is a great minifigure. Um, it was a great minifigure for the time. His torso is still very useful, if you didn't see my video a few months ago, I used it for my custom Bruce Banner. But I'll probably use the new one now. Because I think it works even better, but um, yeah, this is this was a great minifigure the time, or it was a great minifigure for the time, and I still think it's really cool to have it in my collection. Moving on to the next Harry, we're gonna go through these cr um, chronologically. So we're gonna go through the Harrys and then the Rons and then the Hermiones. Um, just so you know, this is the 2010 version, and it's from the Free and Dobby set because it was the only one I got from the 2010 and 2011 sets. Just want to clarify, this wand does not come with him, it's just a spare one that I got from the new sets. But he does come in his Gryffindor robe, um, this face print as well, with um, a little bit of fading on it because I had it, I got it a long time ago. You can see plain black legs and the same hairpiece, but this is a, a really classic minifigure. Uh, not as classic as the other one, but it's still a really cool minifigure to have in my collection, and of course, the, this is the time when they had those really awkward looking stick pieces for the wands, but this is a great minifigure. And then the next one is the Lego Dimensions Harry. Once again, he did not come with the new wand piece, but he did come with a shorter brown stick piece. Um, now, this one is very similar to the 2010 one. The robe print is, maybe it changed a little bit, and the face print is a little bit more updated with a little bit more um, firm printing on it. But he does, or he did come with the coal hairpiece from Ninjago, which has been used in a few other themes. And I don't think it works as well because the it doesn't really you can't really uh, see the scar through unless you turn it like that. But then it covers his eye and it looks really weird. Um, but it was an okay choice for the hair. Um, it works okay. But uh, yeah, once again, a very similar figure to the last one we looked at, but still a pretty cool one. So um, I knocked that hairy over. Um, but. Here's the newest one from 2018 that, that does come in the Aragog set as well. And this is such a great update. He has the short legs because LEGO decided to use for the first two books the short legs, which I think is a good option. He does come with this awesome new hairpiece which outlines the scar. There's a cutout in the hair so you can see the scar. I really love that. And um, yeah, he comes with the new wand piece. And he has a very useful torso. Once again, I'll probably use it for Bruce Banner. But yeah, just a great update. And, um, I'm just so happy that LEGO's bringing back this Harry Potter theme at this point in time when we have all these new pieces and things, and it's just awesome. So, that's it for the Harrys. Now we're gonna move into the Rons. So I never got a 2010 Ron, so this is just the 2002 Ron, which came in the old Aragog set. So he has this really weird hairpiece, um, which is actually used on Credence now, and Ori the Dwarf from the... Hobbit sets. This wand is the shorter stick piece, not the larger one that they used to use, so I just gave him this because I think it looks better. I'll probably give him the new wand piece once I get a spare wand. And I knocked him off the stand because his legs are a little bit looser on my stand, but he comes with plain gray legs. Um, a very different torso print from the newer one. It is similar, or it's similar in design, but it's more of a black base. Um, and he comes with this really weird, awkward looking face with that smirk and the freckles. But obviously this came out in a different time period, and I do have, once again, many different versions of him. But yeah, great minifigure to have in my collection, a classic one. So, uh, fast forwarding to the 2018 Ron, 
who comes with the uh, bright or the brighter brown one, the lighter brown. He comes with the short blue legs because once again they decided to go with the shorter ones. He uses the Luke Skywalker hairpiece in dark orange, which look, works a lot better than what they used to do. And he comes with this awesome scared face. So a great update once again. Great new Ron minifigure. So that's it for the Rons and the Harrys. Let's move into the Hermiones now. So starting off, we have the oldest Hermione here, the old 2002-2001 version. I did give her the shorter stick, not the long one. But she does come with the light gray color for the robe, which is what they used to do. She has the cool sparkly or the, the cape with the stars on that they used to have. And this hairpiece, which was a really great hairpiece for the time. It was later used on Molly Weasley, funny enough. But that face is really weird. Um... But yeah, this hairpiece is still pretty cool, and it's still very useful um, in today's time. So, moving on to the next one, we have the Dimensions one, because I never got the 2010 one. I did give her the new wand mold in the dark tan color. But this one's based on the Deathly Hallows, so this is an older version. She has the dark blue legs. This jacket, which is based on the Deathly Hallows, the oranger hair for the older, later version of Hermione. And this older looking face. So that's it for the Dimensions version of Hermione. And then, this one, which I did not get any of the sets that come with Hermione. I will soon, though, because I'll probably get the Great Hall for my birthday. So, that set does have the uh, brown Hermione hairpiece, or the new mold for Hermione. But this one's from the minifigure series, which I did actually get more of the packs yesterday, and she was my only duplicate. So, But the robe is very useful for custom Gryffindor. She has the medium-sized legs, which are new. The new wand mold and this hairpiece, which isn't uh, her new hairpiece, but it's new in that color, so I like that. I like her face. Um, doesn't look as good as the set, or the face that she uses in the sets, and she doesn't have an alternate head, which is quite disappointing. Uh, she does come with Crookshanks as well in the collectible minifigure. Uh, but yeah, she's a, a pretty not bad minifigure. She's good to get because I only got the Aragog set and I wanted the trio, so now I can have the trio. Um, but her robes are very useful for making custom Gryffindor students. So yeah, a very good minifigure there. So that is it for this um, Harry Potter minifigure comparison video. So um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think of my Harry Potter, Ron, Weasley, and Hermione Granger minifigures. And uh, my comparison, and let me know which one's your favorite. Um, so yeah, this will be my last video I'll be posting before I go on holiday for two weeks. So... Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys, um, so I hope you guys have a great day, and have a great two weeks. Take care.